Hello, welcome, Sumit. Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, good evening, Sumit. So, congratulations, first of all, for securing rank one in the INI uh, INI SS uh, Super Speciality exam and uh, okay. securing Thank rank you. one. Okay. So, I'm very happy to introduce you, uh, Sumit, to this uh, our chat. Actually, it's a very good chat. So, can you just you. introduce uh, your your journey through your your medical journey? Like, where did you do your initial studies and till uh, this uh, securing the first rank in the INI SS NEET exam? And uh, not NEET uh, INI yes, SS exam. <laughs> Uh, first of all, thank you so much, ma'am, for giving this opportunity to me to share my experience with all the people. And I did my MBBS from MAMC, Delhi, and currently I'm doing my post-graduation from Lady Harding Medical College, ma'am. Okay. Uh, that means you are you are doing your MS right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, so when, you, when will you finish? Next week, ma'am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm finally here, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You're finally here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's uh, it's rather strange because I know many people who are uh, working uh, or uh, preparing for the last one year for this exam, but yet they couldn't qualify. So uh, I thought uh, uh, there are the, the pattern of question is different uh, because uh, uh, the super specialty institute exams concentrate more on the subject uh, proper, uh, right? Yes, on if it is CTVS, more yes, on CTVS, but NEET exam is yes, almost uh, fully uh, general surgery topics and general some uh, specialty yes, topics yeah so you are right now doing general surgery pg and how do you manage to uh, learn the core ctvs topics then uh, even you didn't finish uh, your ms also uh, so ma'am uh, from my mbbs days only i i used to like ctvs in mbbs we, we used to had rotatory posting uh, during our surgery posting so i our ctvs consultants were very kind enough they allowed me to see the surgeries during that time and during that time, I saw the open heart surgeries for the first time, and I was very amazed to see the open heart surgeries. Like, I, for the first time, I feel uh, this is something extraordinary, like uh, stopping a beating heart, then performing a surgery, and then letting it beating again. So I was very amazed. And after MBBS also, I did a three-month JR ship in GV Panth Hospital in CTVS. So okay, okay. from that time only, I used to like CTVS only. But at that time, there was no uh, six years course when I uh, cleared the MBBS in Delhi. So I decided to take MS general surgery and post that I was sure that I'll take CTVS as the super speciality. Okay. So uh, when uh, which mode or which stream so, uh, did you use for preparation of uh, your CTVS uh, theory classes? So, uh, ma'am, during uh, actually, I did not know that I was uh, I would be eligible for this exam. I came to know about yeah. it in December only. So mm -hmm. I did not know any sources to prepare for CTVS exam. So I was just doing my preparation. Uh, I thought I'll be giving exam maybe in July or September, whatever uh, the date will come. I did not know that it, I'll be eligible for the April exam. So when mm -hmm. I came to know about it, I started looking for resources and I was uh, reading CTVS from different uh, sources. Man. But in, I think, February or March, Mero updated the CTVS modules of uh, your lectures. So I, then I started properly preparing for the uh, CTVS, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, your lectures, which I saw, they were very helpful in, in a way that which I already studied, topics which I already studied, it helped me to consolidate those topics. And which topics, uh, the topics which I could not read or which I could not understand, uh, I was surprised that it was so easy to <laughs> so easy to learn and so easy to understand when I saw your lectures. Particularly, my favorite lectures were uh, synotic and asynotic heart disease, valvular heart disease, and heart transplant. Uh, so they were amazing, ma'am. Well, I I, I okay. used to struggle a lot while understanding synotic and asynotic heart disease because routinely we do not see those those cases, and reading from the yeah. book uh, is difficult to understand. So that those are very helpful. Okay. So, so which textbooks the, were? Uh, uh, so ma'am, uh, there were, uh, as I started my uh, strategy, so there were two parts, general surgery and CTVS, which I had to prepare for INISS. So general okay. surgery was easy. I followed Dr. Rowan's notes. I'm following them since my UG days. 
and i was okay. keep, i used to solve uh, i used to solve question bank and add any uh, further information which is uh, available i used to add in my notes and for ctvs okay. i started like this uh, first of all i was using different sources then i uh, when in february march when your uh, videos were uh, lectures were uploaded so i started you know, watching them and consolidating my notes, previous notes okay so did you go through any of the textbooks uh, other than the videos like bailey or sabiston or any textbooks you could cover the ctvs topics uh, uh, by own or just uh, listen to the lecture ma'am i started studying uh, uh, sabiston and bailey but i found it very mm -hmm. difficult to understand in a short period of time so i did okay. not read them completely i was uh, the my main source of study was lectures and M previous year mcqs and uh, okay. some uh, online videos also yes sir yes sir okay okay so did you get some question bank uh, or uh, on ctvs uh, to do uh, to prepare for this exam is there any question bank or previous uh, years you a... have you brought from your connections or from your seniors your friends yes ma'am there is a ctvs module of 53 or 55 questions in the general surgery part they have covered mm. uh, many of the questions mostly from thorax and uh, a few part from the cardiac surgery cardiac surgery the rest i got okay. from my seniors okay okay yes ma'am so uh, okay so at uh, ctvs preparation just took two months that's what you were telling by april or yes, march april i prepared you were... i start seriously started with, yes ma'am i seriously started from february end only and february march and yes ma'am april two to three months i did prepare for ctvs okay so the neat exam is on the way right so i think yeah it uh, is on September. yeah yeah so are you attempting that uh, hopefully not ma'am <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, which institute are you planning to join I have you decided on that uh, yes i am planning to join aims only aims delhi new delhi okay 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 yes, so oh congratulations it's my alma mater so <laughs> i am very thank proud that you joined you aims so delhi okay so, uh, thank you so for much. Uh, okay so uh, there are students who are preparing for neat okay so i think this module or this chat with you uh, uh, will definitely help them to prepare uh, so can you give some suggestions to them uh, like uh, how if the last minute preparations uh, like uh, you are a fresher like you are just doing your ms so there are so many people who are uh, uh, writing because neat exam because more part is general surgery there's a high chance for the freshers to get other than uh, yes, people who are subjecting uh, studying the core subject so uh, what would you advise them to learn in this last minute probably in the last few weeks uh, ma'am my advice to uh, to the people who are who want to take any of the super specialty branch is that uh, first of all they should concentrate on their clinical practice like they should be very attentive in the ward rounds ot or opds because a lot of questions are asked from the routine uh, routine what we see so like in this exam also there were uh, some questions like uh, content contents of uh, ringal lactate and there were simple questions from ecg like what does t wave represents or what uh, uh, osborn waves is seen in so these were very basic they are not taught routinely and uh, so if they are attentive in the clinical rounds they can solve most of the questions and they are rank breakers i think and also they the they should choose their branch very wisely without listening to the outside no noises they should look and they should see the surgeries at least before denying any uh, denying any branch or choosing any branch and also i think it is never too late to start the preparation they should start the preparation in a focused manner as soon as they are uh, they are sure which branch they want to take and for uh, in neat or for neat i think general surgery uh, i think general surgery lectures of uh, dr rohan are very good including the question bank if they are able to do the question bank and uh, dr rohan's lecture they are more than sufficient I think, to crack the limit. okay and of course gt so, grand test and they should be uh, done frequently okay 
So, uh, uh, do you really think your three months of uh, experience at GP Pan helped you a lot to understand the subject better, or in this exam? Because nowadays interviews are not uh, being held. Uh, uh, personal interviews no, asking uh, for your experience the, the is three... not held. Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, the three month uh, JRship I did in GP Pan, it actually it actually uh, raised the interest in in the subject. They did not. Teach. I used to attend the rounds, listen to the question they used to uh, the used to ask the SRs. So there there was no clinical as such. There is no academic uh, I attended, but I got interest in the subject during that. Okay, and how about uh, uh, the part two exam? How was it? Uh, it was a spotter based uh, exam, right? Yes, ma'am. It was there. Were, there were ten questions. Three questions were from the general surgery part, and seven questions were directly from the uh, CTVS. Like there was one scientist, Eddie Becky, and there were three uh, general surgery question: ringal lactate, drill effusion, pneumothorax, and there were instruments. And there was they they showed the picture of a procedure BT shunt. So okay. I was able to do a crack it with your uh, lectures, ma'am. Okay. I think okay. I did some so, uh, questions right out of it. Oh, very good, very good. So, uh, do you at any moment of uh, watching the videos or while preparing for your exam, have you ever had a thought in mind like if this was also taught or uh, if this modification or if the video was like this or the lecture was like this, it would have been more helpful. Uh, did you feel any lacunae in our uh, pres video pres uh, pre presentation or the PowerPoint way of PowerPoint presentation? or the uh, way uh, we teach uh, that uh, it might be more helpful like at any time of uh, your preparation you felt so uh, basically how can uh, i when... improve my teaching uh, yes ma'am actually the only problem i faced was that the ctvs lectures were not completely uploaded by the time i gave the exams there were only 20 okay. lectures uploaded out of 40 so i could not maintain the continuity there was uh, no lectures of the basic principles like embryology and applied sciences, but the uh, adult cardiology, uh, adult cardiac surgery okay. lectures were there, which which forms the major part of the exam. So I thought this okay. this was the major okay. problem I faced, and plus there are uh, no previous year questions in the app, so I had to look here and there to uh, for the for the previous year questions. Otherwise, I, the illustrations, the PowerPoint were really good. Now. I could recall those okay. those pictures in the exams. Okay, so did you have the habit of preparing your own notes after um, uh, watching a video and reading the relevant uh, portion in the text, or uh, you just watched the video and uh, uh, went off without preparing notes? No, ma'am. I I made my notes not completely line to line, but the things that which are difficult to remember, or like I have to practice the diagram. Uh, diagrams of the different surgery then i have to uh, note it in my notes or if i have to remember a thing in a certain way like through a mnemonic or something i used to write in my notes otherwise i uh, don't take notes from line to line okay okay so i think uh, you have uh, you have a very good focused method of preparation and most important is your genuine interest uh, uh, and passion for the subject that's very important Yes. And uh, I wish that you, uh, Ames Delhi, will be a, a very excellent place for you uh, for the next three years. And uh, keep on your passion for the during the study period also. It's an excellent subject. As you told, it's a very amazing subject. Uh, I also wanted uh, to reach this uh, speciality even in my school days. So uh, the, uh, the excitement of seeing an open heart surgery even now, <laughs> it yes. cannot be expressed in words. So congratulations yes. again and wish you all the very uh, best of luck uh, for your future studies. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Much. Thank you. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much.